All right, Joyce Troop here, Bike Man Performance. We're gonna go over uh, a few functions of the Bully Dog GT that we use all the time. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you how to power it up via USB cord. So you can just plug the USB cord into the side of it, and it will power up just like it's connected to the battery or hooked to the machine. So, uh, first thing you need to know is where the menu button is. Uh, it's the upper left corner. Uh, we're going to hit that. And these are the different functions of the Bully Dog. So, you can see the up and down parts on the right. Uh, scroll it up and down. At top, you'll see tuning. Uh, that's where you would go into uh, if you're installing a tune. Uh, the Bully Dogs, you do have to install the tune into the vehicle for the tune to be in there. It's not like a power commander or some other piggyback device. It actually has to be uh, loaded in there. Uh, we're not going to talk about that today. Uh, today the first thing we're going to talk about is data logging. Uh, then I'm going to show you how to update the device and I'm also going to show you how to change vehicle. So first let's go to data logging and you'll see when we go into data logging uh, you have uh, three different options here uh, you can start data logging you can set parameters and you can set trigger values first let's talk about setting parameters so you can re read that it says speed and RPM will always be data logged so we're going to hit continue now when you get a bully dog there's no parameters set uh, this particular one is set up for a snowmobile so we'll see pr snowmobile parameters while we're in here so first thing we need to do is select what we want to data log. So for number one, uh, on this axis snowmobile, it has pyro as an option. Pyro is the pipe temperature sensor. So we do want to uh, log that. Now we're going to want to select number two. Uh, we don't have boost on this particular machine, so we're going to go to the next thing that is important to us, uh, throttle position. And there's eight of these that we can set up so uh, we can get the most information uh, that's useful to us for the type of tuning that we want to be doing or uh, clutching or w whatever else. So I'm just going to select some stuff here, uh, what I would typically log on this machine. Uh, we could do timing mag. timing PTO and then another thing I like to log is uh, how much knock retard and that will tell us if it's trying to take away timing due to knock which is very important uh, function of how we set up these bully dogs. Now you also see a lot of, I get a lot of questions on this one it's a uh, knock percentage. Now keep in mind if you have a razor, uh, you won't have these options. But so uh, detonation PTO, detonation mag. Uh, typical number on this value, if you're logging it, is 20 to 30. If you're up in the 40, it's probably trying to take away. Uh, ignition timing due to knock. So after we have all these set, all eight of them are set, we just click go back. Now we, since we have our parameters set, we need to set what trigger value is. Now you can set this however you want. It just, uh, it's a criteria that you have to hit before it starts logging. Uh, we're going to set speed zero just so it starts uh, logging right away. And we're going to set a trigger value number two. RPM zero. Now we're going to go back and we'll go up and we're going to hit start. And now once it goes to this screen after it says initializing communication, it is logging. So now even though our values are zero because we're not hooked to a vehicle, it's recording this. It'll record for uh, quite a while, like 10 to 15 minutes, and 
and you can get uh, multiple logs on the same card so uh, it's not a big deal you can I mean we've had you know 20 logs on the same memory card uh, it doesn't take up much space so you're not going to run out of space now to quit logging to finish wrap up the log you just got to hit the upper left menu button and I'll say preparing to save and then I'll save the file that we just made now <clears throat> once it's saved onto the memory card you can look uh, right back here this is where your uh, memory card is and you can just push and pop that out after it's completely saved and put that in your computer and you'll find this 00bd.dta in your DTA test folder and then you can use our logger software found on our website to open up and view the log file and if you're somebody that likes to uh, tune your clutching it gives you a perfect uh, speed versus RPM uh, graph which you can use uh, to really dial in your your RPM uh, clutching curve so we're going to go back uh, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, well we can show you performance testing so basically uh, this just you can go in here and it gives you your uh, eighth mile uh, quarter mile thousand foot speed and mile per hour now we're going to go to uh, update device software next and if we send you an updated file or we tell you to do this uh, this is where you would go to it and once again this is in the main menu scroll down update device so we're going to select and it's going to say do you want to load this file now yes and now it should load the file in And it'll tell, give this notification, and it'll go. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it clicks a little bit, and then it'll reboot. And now it's updated the device to the latest bin file. If we sent you a new bin file, or we instructed you to do it. So now you can see our whole gauge is reset, uh, and it's uh, back to square one. So. Another function we can do is menu, change vehicle. If we instruct you to do this, uh, follow the prompts and, and uh, go down to change vehicle, select, continue. Uh, since we only have these for Polaris, Polaris will be our only option. And now if you're a UTV customer, you would go into the UTV or if you're an RMK or snowmobile customer you would go into the RMK so for all player snowmills use RMK for all players UTVs hit UTV don't worry that the year doesn't read 17 18 19 20 what whatever year it is if it's newer than 16 it's just because the device uh, doesn't read that so let's hit 11 to 16 RMK follow the prompts and this is what we'll read here. So and if, if we had a snowmobile, we would hit yes. Now let's just go back and say we have a UTV. Uh, this is our UTV. Now it says 11 to 16 Razor Ranger. Now this really means Razor Ranger in general or Ace. The only one you would run uh, the turbo setting would be if it's an XP turbo. Uh, 16 or newer so we're going to go back this is going to be in a snowmill one so we're going to leave it snowmill and click yes and then it'll do just like we updated the device it'll load the file in and it'll switch all the settings for a snowmobile because that's what we chose and it'll reboot just like before
All right, one more question I get is, how do I make the gauges change into a four gauge setup like I see in everybody else's machine? So let's show you that quick. We're gonna hold down the gauge button until all four pop up. Now say you wanna change these to what you want them to read. Just hit gauge until the thing highlights and then you can select with your up and down right hand side to whatever you want that to be. So I like to do this for the snowmobiles just because it's important information to me. And you see it'll scroll right back around to the beginning. And I actually don't want that to be BD pyro. I want that to be regular pyro. There. So that's how I would set it up. Now you'll notice if we go back into menu and we've updated the device or changed the vehicle and we go into data logging, all of our parameters are still there. So uh, if you were to change vehicle to a like from a snowmobile to a razor, uh, then these would all be reset. But we're still ready to data log. That's a brief tutorial today on the Bully Dog GT Tuner. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Check all our stuff at www.bikemanperformance.com. And we'll see you next Tech Tuesday.